This video will give you an overall look at our new control panel and what information is easily available to you. Once you've logged into the control panel, you will see a similar screen to the one shown here, with the current selected tracker shown in the middle of the screen. Starting in the top left corner of the screen, you have a box which shows the current selected tracker you are currently viewing on the screen. And by clicking on this button, you will see a list of the trackers displayed in your account. Just below this is a search box, so if you know the name of the tracker or the number, you can enter this here to select the tracker you would like to view, which is useful if you have a large number of trackers in your account. Just underneath the selected tracker, you will see the status of the device, which will show if the device is moving, sleeping, turned off, etc. Then you can see the GPS signal strength, which will not be displayed when the tracker is sleeping, as this is turned off to conserve the battery. Below this is the current battery level of the tracker and will display a blue line and change to show charge and when on charge. You then have the speedo which will show the speed at which the tracker was moving when last reported along with its heading and altitude. Below the speed you can see the last reported address, coordinates, last valid GPS fix, last communication time and last command sent to the tracker. The most important part of the screen is the last valid GPS fix, which shows when the tracker last reported successfully, and all of the information on the rest of the screen will be from this date and time. If the tracker is not showing the correct date, there could be a problem and you will need to check this further. The subscription box will normally show a static date of the 31st of the 12th, 2099, as the trackers are on an unlimited tracking. The SMS credits will show the remaining credits that the selected tracker has left for the current month. The SMS credits are used up when sending commands, GPS locates or when receiving text messages for any alerts from the tracker. The bottom left corner of the control panel will give you an overview of what positions and distance the tracker has done on the day and current month. On the left side of the map you see the button to switch to advanced view to show a quick overview of all the trackers and their status, battery level and speed. This saves you having to select each tracker in the top left corner of the screen which is especially useful if you have a large number of trackers. While in the advanced view you can select each tracker by simply clicking on the tracker you wish to view and then to switch back to the classic view by simply click on the button once again and the selected tracker will stay selected. Now to the map itself, you can see in the top left corner of the map is the zoom in and out buttons and also the hybrid map option to allow you to view the map in a full satellite view or switch back to the normal roadmap view. In the top right corner of the map you can search for a location by name or postcode and a map will centre on this location. The last feature on the map itself is the unfollow button which means when the tracker you have selected moves it will not centre on the map of the tracker. These last two features are particularly useful when setting up a zone. You don't want the map screen to move each time the tracker reports. Just below the map you will see the last command log which shows you the commands that you have sent to the tracker so you can easily see if they have been successfully delivered. If any of your messages are not being delivered there will be a problem with the tracker, the phone network or the number of SMS credits remaining for the month. Now along the top of the control panel are the extra features and menus which some will be explained more in another video, but I will point out the buttons that don't have a menu like the view all button in the top left corner. This will zoom out the map so you can see all the trackers on one screen. If there are a number of trackers close together, it will group them and show a number to let you know how many trackers are in that area. If you click on the number, it will zoom in to show all these trackers. The next menu is the zones where you can create geofences to monitor where the trackers enter and leave the selected areas which we'll go through more in another video. Show DMC allows you to see all the trackers at a glance with the address, status, battery, speed and last valid GPS fix and how many SMS credits are remaining for the month. This view is most useful for customers with a large amount of trackers that want to view all the trackers quickly but with a little more detail than the advanced view on the main control panel. The next button is the show traffic feature that allows you to turn on the traffic feed and will be discussed further in another video. The street view option will split the screen in half and show an integrated street view image of where the tracker is and this will move with the tracker as it moves. You can also click on any part of the map 
to see the street view at this part of the map. You can control the street view part of the screen with the mouse and controls in the bottom right hand corner and also make it full screen by clicking on the maximize button in the top corner and then press the cross to return to the normal size split screen. To return to the normal view just click on the street view button again. The routing menu allows you to plan a route and will be covered further in another video. The alert box will allow you to see all the alerts relating to the selected tracker on the selected date or if you tick the get for all box before pressing get messages you will see the alerts for all the trackers in the account. The setting menus is where all of the alert contact details and information on the tracker is changed and will be covered in more detail in another video. The history menu allows you to review all of the history of the tracker over the past 12 months and will be covered in more detail in another video. The commands menu will allow you to send an SMS to the tracker to change the frequency of the reporting of the tracker, locate the tracker if you think it's not showing in the right location or reboot the tracker if you think there is a problem. The commands menu will vary between models of the trackers as some of the trackers have extra inputs and outputs for extra functionality. And remember when you send these SMS commands it will use up your monthly credits. Next to the commands menu is the arm button which can be used to activate the motion alert feature on the tracker but please check the tracker is in a sleeping status before you use this. The last button in the corner is the health check button which when pressed will send an SMS to the tracker to reboot the device if you believe that the tracker is not showing in the correct location or not working correctly. Please be aware that the function will use one of your SMS credits, so it should only be used if you think there is a problem. The last two options in the bottom right corner are the sound toggle to, if required, allow you to hear a beep when the tracker is moving and the alarms when activated. Also the account option which allows you to change the name and password, date format, distance format and language of your account. If you make any changes to the account, you will need to log out and back in to the control panel to take effect. That's a very quick overview of the control panel, so thanks for watching and happy tracking.